All right, team, so today I'm going to show you how to use my favorite platform in the whole wide world when it comes to trading. Um, granted, you may have something else or heard of something else to use, that's on you, but this is what I've been using, so I'm sharing it with you. Um, so this is called Trading View, and this is where I do all of my charting. So Trading View offers the ability to basically look at stocks, commodities, indices, resource, I mean, just everything. And once you log in and create your account, um, you do have the option of using a free account. If so, there may be some limitations and you may get a lot of ad uh, pop-ups that you can just close out. Eventually, if you decide this is something that you want to do full-time, I would highly recommend um, upgrading and just paying for the membership. I promise you it's worth it. Um, and yeah, I, it just is. <laughs> um, anyway, so... I'm going to show you how to use this bad boy. So number one, to change the appearance of it, when you first get your trading view, the appearance of it is going to be a little wonky. There's going to be like lines everywhere. Um, you're going to have like these things called volume on the bottom. So I'm going to show you how you can change that. So when you see the volume buttons on the bottom, I don't have them, but what all you're going to do is just right click on them and just backspace or hit delete. They should disappear. In regards to the horizontal lines, you're going to right click on your chart, okay? And you're going to click on settings. So let me do this. All right, so where it says appearance, it gives you the option to customize your charts to your liking. So I have a ton of templates that I use. I change them often, but this seems to be the one that's best on my eyes. But you can change your background right here. The vertical lines and horizontal lines, like that grid that you're going to see, what you're going to do is click on this box and you're going to bring the opacity all the way to the left to zero for the vertical lines and same thing for the horizontal lines. If you're on your phone, you can do the same thing, okay? Then um, you can, there's like a watermark. If you click on this, it'll put the name of the pair behind. Let me see if I can show you real quick. It's right here, like you can see where it says Euro USD. It usually looks a little bit darker. I just, I have it off because I don't need that. Um, so that's that. To change your candlesticks, you just go to symbol and you can see where you can change the candlesticks, the borders, the wick. Um, one thing I do have checked off is my last value count right here. And that just shows you when the market is open, it'll tell you the color of the last candle, whether it was a buy or a sell. And you don't have to do that, but it's just something I like. Make sure your time zone is correct, okay? And um, that's pretty much all that I use for this. I don't know with the free plan if you're able to do this, but once you're done, you can click on template, save as, and you can label it whatever you want so that if you ever exit out of this platform and let's say it resets, you can literally click on template and your saved option will be there and just click on it and all your charge charts will default to the changes that you made so you don't have to do this every single time. So that's step one, okay? Once that's done, the next thing you want to do is um, use some tools. So we're going to be focusing primarily on trend line. We're going to have trend lines. We're going to probably use boxes and arrows. Um, that's pretty much it as far as that. As we do more webinars, we, you can add some more. So what you're going to do is just right here on the second icon, you're going to click this arrow. And these are just the ones I put a star next to them so they can pop up in my favorites and I don't have to go looking for them each time. So you're welcome to pause this video and see what I have starred. Um, the next one right here, we have our Fibonacci's. Um, let's see, excuse me, our Fibonacci's, which um, we're not gonna go over that. We're literally gonna do just straight technical analysis It'll be nice and simple, um, but you do have the option. The next one, I definitely use um, the rectangle. I do use the brush and I, I do use this. I don't use the S curve too much or the curve too much, but you just wanna put stars so they can pop up in your favorites tab, okay? And um, over here, I also have like call out and text. So if I ever want to text something on my chart, I can just click down here and it, it's there. You also want to make sure that this icon on the bottom left is on so the favorites that you selected pop up and you don't have to go looking for them each time. Another thing that you can do is select the time frames that you like to use. Um, so down here, you probably only see one, but if you click on this, you can select which are your favorite time frames. So you can have them just 
available to you. The next thing, I like to use the line chart and the, um, the candlesticks. So I literally just put a star next to them so they're there. If you want to send me a screenshot or post any charts in the group for us to look at, um, you're gonna click on this icon right here, the camera button, and it will give you a link for you to copy and paste it. And that's what you're going to post in the group if you want us to look at your chart. So that is honestly pretty much it with just that, okay? The next thing is, um, depending on your account, you can create what's called watch lists. And I have like some pairs that I like to look at and you can label them and just click on the pair that you like. You can right click on them and add them to your watch list. This way you don't have to go over here on the top left and always looking for them. They'll always be right here. So initially your first step, you probably have to type them in, the pairs that you want to look at. Um, and then you right click and add them to watch list. I believe that's all that I want to share with TradingView. It's a very simple platform. Once you get used to it, you are able to use this on your phone. I'm going to see if I can create a phone tutorial as well, just in case if you don't have a laptop um, or a computer to do your charting on.